to show it to the world. Go black out. Yeah. 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 Like I have never been in a bar where someone gets a round of tequila shots for everyone and they're all like, mmm, yummy, that's so delicious. Like that reeks of having to laugh at your boss's joke. Hey yo, hey yo, Destiny. Destiny. Dude, dude. I had to say, bro, dude, you were right, man. You were right. Dude, dude, dude. Fucking Hassan flips harder than a fucking coin, dude. Hassan didn't flip at all. And, like, you know, he has, like, no ground to stand on when he has to call in Destiny to try to get Destiny viewers to hate on Hassan just because they hate Hassan, not because what XQC is saying is right. XQC agreed to go to an event, and then last minute he canceled the event. And Hassan came out and said, that was a shitty thing to do, which it was. And now Hassan is a flip-flopper. And what makes it even funnier is like saying you're going to go to an event and the last minute canceling is flip-flopping. Saying that you're never going to take advice from someone who like promotes gambling to a child and then making like most of your content now gambling to children is flip-flopping. Like just because like one of your like quote unquote like friends calls you out for something shitty you did doesn't make them a flip-flopper. It's kind of ironic coming from XQC. Listen to your chat. The next time they come in, if they say something about their dog, maybe their dog isn't feeling well, and they come in the next day and you're just like, hey, Jack, what's up, buddy? How's your dog, man? You probably just secured that viewer for life. I do the fucking opposite. Someone tells me about how sad they are. I'm like, I don't give a shit. You're putting down my vibes. Fuck off. Well, like, everyone hates like the press messages in chat. It just completely ruins the vibe of the stream. But like, what kind of psychopath do you have to be to hear about like someone's sad like story, like the dead dog or whatever, and be like, I know, I'm going to use this sad like message my advantage and like benefit from it like what the hell D direct accusation so he says that i directly accused him of cheating now there might be a youtube video coming out later um from the vod the other day specifically because there are many instances where i said that he did not cheat over the board the one thing i did say was that he did cheat online and he himself admitted that he did i mean you did everything but directly accuse him and so, so like trying to like nitpick that is like like you said, Megas has never withdrawn before. You said that he's cheated online before. You said that there was a bunch of talk with GMs previously behind the scenes about Hans possibly cheating. It's such like weasel words to try to like play that game. Dude, like I said, after a 14 hour stream, I DM'd him and I'm like, hey man, when you're not, when you know, when you're all rested, can you come, you know, say happy birthday to my friend? He's like, oh yeah, man, no problem. Like, like after a 14 hour stream, came to Keo's chat, like said a bunch of super nice things and then dropped the follow. Like, like there, there's a lot of people that have way too much ego for shit like that, dude. And that was like, I really appreciated that because that made their day, dude. That, that made their entire day. So call it a lot of the things XQC says dumb. I mean, because they are dumb, but like, it's good to hear that, like, Behind the scenes, he's just like a good dude. Like, I don't think I've ever heard of anybody talking about his behavior off stream as bad. It's always talking about like how nice and like wholesome he's off stream. So that's always a good thing. All of you guys were nitpicking about Paris being dangerous and everyone in chat's like, what the pickpockets? Oh, Blau, you bad Blau take. What about the pickpockets? Bro, what about the fucking mass shootings in the US or just the shootings in general? Bro, you can pickpocket me nine times a, a fucking day as long as I don't get shot. I mean, he's not wrong. The Amnesty International in 2019 came out with an advisory saying do not travel to the United States if you don't have to because of the ongoing gun violence in the country. So, yeah, kind of an issue, even though if Americans might not think so.